So we're going to start on um, with your feet just kind of regular. Now, as always, you could always vary it. You could go a little wide, a little narrow. You could turn them in, turn them out, kind of one forward, one back. There, it doesn't always have to be just shoulder width apart. It's pretty better, actually very much better to vary it a little bit. So I just want to mention that. And you're going to just start your little turning warm up here like this, getting everything rotating. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go, instead of this arm just flopping back, it's going to reach for the ceiling, then this one's going to reach. So you get into a little rhythm like this. And now we've been, you know, doing stuff with your neck too. So if your head turns along with it, that'll do one thing. And if your head stays straight, that'll do another. Okay? So you want to probably do a little bit of both. So the next move is instead of this here, it's going to be this, okay? So instead of the right arm raising and turning to the right, the left arm is going to raise when you go to the right, and it's going to look like this, okay? Always thinking about just reaching high with that hand, and the other one's just rotating back around you. Then let's try that kind of in a more of a single leg stance. So now you're going to be here, and this is going to get more foot and hip action. Really definitely more foot action. And then you'll be here, here, same reaches. And here. And then you're going to switch it up. You're going to do the same thing. So this one, this one. Ooh, this feels good. I don't do this on one leg enough. And then this one. Okay? Yep. So that'll get all that stuff moving and grooving. And actually, you know what? That would be a great thing to do with running, um, for sure. You know, before you run. But I think any any time really, but definitely a nice one before you run. Or even if you stop to take a little walk, you could just get some of those mm -hmm. same movements in, okay? Then you're going to like roll up a yoga mat, so you get a little extra calf stretch with this. And we'll be going, oops, that's a little too close for me. You just want to make sure that that rear foot isn't turned out, it's either straight or slightly toed in. And you're going to be bringing your pelvis forward, you already do that, you know that. So then once you've done that a few times, you stay forward, which is key. And then you do your hip wiggle. And then the rotation is going to be rotating toward the side of that back leg like this. And then, of course, you would go through and do the same thing here. Wiggle and the turn toward the back leg. 